Good morning, or actually I should say good afternoon. Um, I'm Monique Antoinette Lewis and I'm the founder of At The Inkwell. Thank you all so much for coming out. We're very honored to be here at the fourth annual New York City Poetry Festival here on Governor's Island. Um, sorry, just one second. I realized I gave away my program. Can someone hand me a program? <laughs> Got it. Let's introduce my authors. <laughs> oh, thank you. All right. First up, we have Mark Hillringhouse. Mark is a published poet, essayist, and photographer whose work has, has been widely exhibited in area galleries. His photography and writing has been published in the American Poetry Review, the Literary Review, the New York Times, New Jersey Monthly, the Paris Review, and in many other journals, books, anthologies, and magazines. He was the founding editor of the American Re Book Review and a contributing editor for the New York Arts Journal. He has been th nominated three times for a P Pushcart Prize and is a three-time recipient of a New Jersey, the New Jersey State Council on the Arts Fellowship. His film documentary with collaborator Kevin Carey on the life of Patterson poet Maria Gillen, who's also, going to be, who's also here tonight, today, titled All That Lies Between Us, has just been released on DVD. And his recent book of poems and photographs titled Between Frames was published last year by Serving House Books. Let's welcome Mark. Okay, let me move this up. Ten minutes? Okay. Hi, guys. Uh, this poem is called Diner. Here by the cigarette machine, the coffee cup I drink from is circa 1950s round. Although the coffee tastes bitter to me now, and I'm moved to tears because the formica is cracked and reminds me of the blue veins running down my mother's legs and the tin ashtrays are stacked and bent inside each other next to ketchup bottles lined up like pints of blood there's a universe of light in the chrome reflection off napkin dispensers a huddled world of comfort and salt and pepper shakers sugar slanted like beach white sand a stainless steel milk container that is never full. Grease, splatter, and sizzle at 2 a.m. remind me that it is always better here behind the plate glass, in the light than outside traveling through the darkness. The waitress hits the cash register, bangs open the drawer, and wets her fingers to count out dollar bills. Woolworths. A kid yells, motherfucker, out the school bus window. I don't think anyone notices the afternoon clouds turning pink along the horizon. Sunlight dripping down the stone facades. The ancient names of old stores fading like the last century. Above the street, above the spandex women who adjust their prized buttocks sweating in the sun as I wonder how this city that has no more memory of itself than a river has of rain survives. Is it just a matter of time or that peasant woman who tugs my sleeve demanding peseta from every passing stranger? I can still smell the hot dog counter and the pretzel carousel. I love the sound of birds as I entered the watery bubbles from aquarium filters over by the plants. If I imagined like a child walking with my mother, the store part rainforest and closed my eyes, I was in some tropical country that feathered blue against the orange of forgotten sunsets. After the rain washed streets erased the footprints of tired mothers who waited in line under the red and gold awning to cash their welfare checks. And maybe we're all feeling the same rage, seeing the upturned fish tanks stacked against the parakeet cages, sunlight catching on the twisted wire between the shabbiness of an empty storefront, rays of sunlight poking in to finger the dusty hollowness of barren shelves. Or maybe it's the cheap plexiglass above the Chinese lettering or the sound of car alarms 
and sirens blaring us back. The city deadened me as I sway down these aisles, like everything else that fell from my life. I exit and walk down Main Street, trying to regain my balance behind the men who walk home from sweaty jobs with clenched fists and the women who follow them, pulling their children like dogs in the rain.